Located right next to the tavern is the place where there's the only restaurant in the world on a tall ship. That's right. And a lot of people go, how do you say that name? I know, Take a that's listen. true. It's not Mashalu. Okay. It's not Mushalu. It's Moshalu. 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 Got it. The former first lady, Edith Wilson, picked it, picked it to honor the Native American Seneca Indian tribe, and it means one who fears nothing. Oh. Yes. Our Victoria Whittle went aboard to find out what makes the ship so special. Everybody says the same thing. If they live in Philly and they've never been here, they don't understand why they never came. They come aboard, they're greeted with beautiful hospitality, Chef Anthony's food. Nothing better. Um, and to eat it aboard a historic ship that's changing and evolving with time, you know, there's, there's no other experience that can even compare to it. And we have to say Tori agrees with that. On board, she enjoyed beef sliders, shrimp skewers, a lobster roll, and a specialty drink. And speaking of special, mm. look what we got here. Jake, we have ice cream sandwiches. We have, we actually have the Cookie Monster uh -huh. over here with the chocolate. We have Strawberry Fields and the Yellow Brick Road. Well, Whoa, I want to eat I all get of it. I get it. You mind if I grab one real quick? Oh, uh, I insist. It's melting a little bit, and I think we're going to Tori next. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. I'm, oh yeah. Get in there. Excellent work. It matches your shirt. Oh, it does. <laughs> It Thank you oh, for delicious. your generosity. I'm think gonna... the strawberry fields is all you. It is. I know. I'm getting into that as soon as we go to Tori 